Welcome to the Press Preps Roundtable. I am Tony Mealy, joined by Scott Springer and Nick Dukovic. In case you haven't noticed this spring, it's been raining a lot, and a lot of baseball and softball teams have been not playing almost all of their games this year, it seems. So with the playoffs looming next week, uh, what do you guys make of all the rainouts, and what effect is it going to have on the postseason? Well, right now, these teams are in like early April form. It's, it's a mess. I've talked to several coaches um, John Weber, the Bethel Tate softball coach, as of last week, they had three outdoor practices. They came up with a couple wins over the weekend, but, uh, you know, you can't get it done when you're inside fielding ground balls on concrete and, and trying to hit through the cage. It doesn't uh, replace live pitching or catching fly balls in sunlight. Uh, sunlight. We've heard of that, haven't we? I, I see it every now and then. Um, what I've noticed is some of the teams that were uh, fortunate enough to go out of town and play uh, Molar Baseball, Madeira Baseball, it's no surprise that they're the ones doing well. The other teams are not getting games in. I, I've got a son that coaches JV somewhere, and, and they haven't played barely in, in two weeks. Uh, personally, I've got a seventh grader. Another rain out today, kids. Uh, two times in April. They've played two games. Game scheduled since the 1st of April. You pay a lot of money to play. The kids aren't, aren't getting to play, and the parents are, are forking over money, high school-wise, select baseball, whatever you're looking at. You know, now I know why, you know, spring sports is set up like it is. I mean, there's one month of the regular season, and these kids are supposed to play every day. Unfortunately, Mother Nature just hasn't cooperated. I mean, check this out, guys. You know, as of Friday, okay, the record for uh, right in the area was about 13.68 inch, uh, inches set in 1937. As of Friday, it was 13.52. So, wow. I mean, Mother Nature just doesn't want these games to be played this year. And, unfortunately, there's just not much you're going to be able to do about it. The playoffs are coming up. You know, Scott and I were talking earlier, you can only play a doubleheader when a school does not have a class the next day. So, they're kind of limited. Their hands are tied. You know, hopefully, you know, these teams will be ready for when the postseason comes. So. Yeah, the, the, I think there's going to be two main um, issues with the rain this year. One, I, I think that we're going to see a lot more upsets this year since not many teams are in midseason form right now because they've played so few games. And the other change I see more so for baseball than softball is pitching. I mean, as we advance in the postseason, there are some games that are going to be spread two days across, or at least they're going to be scheduled two days apart. Um, and softball, you can you can put your hurler, hurler out there any any day, five games a day, whatever. But for baseball, you know, you can't pitch a guy on a Thursday and then again on a Saturday. Well, if these games keep getting rained out, then you know, if if your team with a, has one legit ace, you could ride him for a while. I mean, right. look at Elder last year; they had um, they had Matt Pate. And they had Brian Cordy. Most teams that do well have two stud pitchers, but if you have one this year with all the rainouts, you might just need that one. And there's a sectional finals matchup coming up. Uh, possibly we could see Colerain uh, face Moeller. Colerain has Ryan Atkinson, the top pitcher in the city. Moeller's one of the top offenses in the city. That could be a, a premier uh, sectional finals matchup, even though you know it's a 18 versus a 2 or something like that. Yeah, I, I see a lot of upsets, too. And at one point I want to make before we go here, uh, Holly Muhlenkamp, Wyoming softball coach, great point. Not everyone's going to make a run in the tournament. The parents paid the money. The kids want to play. Play some games after you're knocked out of the tournament. The, the field's set empty in May. It's a crime. It's an outrage. Do you hear me? Look at you. <laughs> yeah, if you're knocked out, play the games, get the regular season finished. But uh, you got me excited. I love uh, an upset. Yeah, sounds like we could see some. Yeah, and, and like Nick said, we we might make some history this month and this season. So we'll see what happens. Best of luck to all you baseball and softball teams as the postseason begins next week. Thanks for watching.